Hey guys, Sam here. How's it going? It has been a little while, hasn't it? Since I've uh, done anything solo. So, Disco Elysium. A uh, bit of an RPG. Uh, isometric as well, a bit of a different art style. Uh, very wordy, uh, I guess. You, you know, not a lot of combat and everything's, I think, done through speech. I haven't read a lot about this game. This is definitely one of those impulse buys I wanted to get. So, you know what? Screw it! Select Archetype. Thinker. Extremely intelligent. Very bad with people. Knows interesting facts and comes up with original ideas. I mean, I'm already drawn to this. <laughs> mm, I mean, we've got sensitive, very psychological, a magnetic personality, but unstable. Might begin to lose his mind. I mean, that also sounds a bit like me. Hmm. Or physical. Extremely physical, interacts with the world through his body, gets things done, but dumb as a rock. Or, I can create my own character absolutely from scratch. I feel like we should use one of the archetypes, because it's our uh, first time in and all that jazz. I'm just torn between whether I go thinker or sensitive. Hmm. You know what? Thinker it is. Yes, continue. The Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the, even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. Oh, what? Make me sit there and press the begin button. How dare you. Ooh. Your conscience ferments in it, no larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. I don't know about you guys, but I like this guy already. I don't have to do anything. Never. Oh. I don't know, I'm still down. Never, ever. Never, ever, ever? Alright, I'm going to simply keep on non-existing. This is a bloody swell idea. Yeah, what was that about the X something? Twenty box says, I'm drunk as hell. No, no, I definitely want to know about that X something. X love. X tenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you've suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. I wonder if the ancient reptilian brain is just my brain, but very drunk. Hmm. No, I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. Do you really? Don't be naive. Of course not. I want to sail the inky blackness until forever ends. Oh, look, there's... I am tired of being a t this type of animal, and who gives a shit? Wait, no, I need to belittle myself instead. Really? Alright, we found a loop. <sighs> Let me off. You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why do you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much of yourself, but a bit carried away in the vision. Uh, what's waiting for me? God damn it. Duking it out on the ball. You're one of them. It's basically all just evil apes duking it out on a giant ball. I'm guessing the apes are the people and the ball is the earth. How small are these apes? In, in small. And how big's the ball? Can't even make 
out at the ball when you're juking it out. It's that loud. And this juking it out, I keep hearing about. What's that? Buying for resources. It's a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the presentation you want to take home with you is this. You have to beat the other beaver legs in the face. I mean, that does sound like something I would like to do. Let's go. Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meat around you. A sensation. Like a fly to the ointment. Your conscience digs to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert. This game music, I'll be having none of that. I changed my mind, take me back to the formless, disembodied nothing. No. Oh. Ugh, who am I? What sort of creature does this to their own mouth? Medium success. Somehow you know what it is. A, a Corpus Canema motor carriage. Aha! And, uh, I was right. I was on the source. I've been drinking. I somehow am still alive. Don't approve of the uh, tidy whities I'm more of a boxes kind of guy myself. However. Okay, we've got some adjustable zoom. I like this, this is a nice view. Hmm, I guess I guess I should take some pants. No, you know what? No. I say no to pants. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Savoir faire, medium 10. Grab the tie. Alright, so snake eyes always loses, double sixes always win. Right, it's a white check, which means I can keep trying. What if I just try and pull on the light bulb? Let's just do something dumb. A terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You could practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. Mm, let's pull again to turn the lights off. I mean, it's not so bright now. Let's try and grab this tie. Whoa, I missed this. You reach out to grab the tie, but what's this? It's a fused, radiating chest pain. Doom comes before you. I must grab my chest now. I wonder if this is because I tried to grab the light. This is bad. Feels like sharp stones grinding in your chest and keeping you from moving. For quite a long time. Still ongoing. Now is a good time to start worrying. Finally, the pressure recedes. You find yourself covered in cold sweat and trying not to move, hoping it will keep you from dying. Into Ooh, you know what you should do? You should stop the fan and then try again. It'll get easier. Wait, are my stats literally talking to me? <laughs> Do it if you want to die. The stabbing chest pain in your chest is telling you. You're hanging by a thread here. Alright, I think it's official. My stats talk to me. This is definitely quite new. Let's pull on the fan. The blades come squeaking to a halt. Should be easier to grab the tie now. Oh, 97%. Whew! The blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie. Yep. You sweep up and catch the tie. Snap! It's released from the blade. G gained horrific necktie. What you have in your hand is a truly hideous necktie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Hold tab to highlight. Ah, sweet. Alright, well, I'm gonna grab some pants up. But if I grab the pants, would I put them on? I don't, don't want to automatically put the pants on. 
I did. What are the me what is the meaning of this? And a jacket, there we go. Disco ass blazer. I can get down with that. What if I go over there? There we go. Can I just like get up on life and go sit in the bathtub? See bottles in the bathtub, wine, beer, and sweet liqueurs. God damn it, so he passed me or he beat me to it. Words fail to describe how rank it smells in here. They should have sent a poet. Oh my god, now I'm talking to my hearing. I have to keep an eye on these yellow dots. You hear a jingle. Key keys are clinking in your pocket of your flare-cut pants. Alright, go get him. It says, whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring and the number one is etched on it. It should open the door. And now the encyclopedia part of me is talking. The Whirling in Rags is a hostel cafeteria on the urban coast frequented by dock workers. So apparently I'm supposed to just have, like, I, I know that in the archetype it did say plus encyclopedia. So I'm guessing not every archetype has access to this. Yeah, I'm guessing that's a mirror? Mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink in a fierce discharge of masculine energy. Someone has ripped half the faucet off. Yeah, go past me. Yeah, buddy. Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Suddenly you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there underneath the soft vapor. Really? Nothing? Really? All recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, and even the world you're in, has drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. This was no mere night of drinking. It was a deluge of world-ending proportions. Alright, let's wipe the mirror. You slowly reach your hand toward the surface of the mirror. The Inland Empire? Abort! You have clearly have not thought this through. You don't like what you will see there, and you will never unbecome it. Maybe I should touch it. Nope, don't care. Wipe the mirror. Behold! Oh dear God! Well, you know what? Things have been worse. <laughs> Things have been a lot worse. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Uh, of course I do. It is some kind of superstar. I, th I think I'm a superstar. It appears that you're also dead. There's clear, clearly rigor mortis on your face. Or wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? I think it might be because I'm a superstar. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. No. This is what superstars do. You, you can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face, now it just won't come off. Superstardom. You check yourself for a pulse, Superstar. From here it looks like a cadaverous spasm. Alright, I'm going to check the pulse. Oh, I gained some experience. Find no sign of life on your swollen neck. However, putting your head or hand on your chest reveals an irregular heartbeat. You appear to be alive for now. Do I use formidable? Okay, so apparently that if I try this electrochemistry, this ain't gonna work. I'm going to dig deep into my mind to locate the source of the expression. Oh, it actually worked. It belongs in the new, the third decade of the current century. Enough time had passed from the failure of revolution that, for a fleeting moment, free market economies seemed like the ultimate uncontested way of life for our species. Okay... Things were good. It was smooth sailing. People made gold and champagne-tinted interiors and facades to suit the times, calling this the new style. But more importantly, disco happened. For Revishol, your city, that meant only one thing. Gilloarme Le Million. And I probably butchered that, but you know what? This is me. And if you watch any of my other videos, you know I butcher everything. So, if it doesn't rhyme, you're not pronouncing it right. 
out of the dazzling swell of disco music in an open air boy de nuit. Somewhere in Revachal West, Guillaume's blonde mane appeared on the screen. He sang some bullshit, then he made the expression. Alright, so I adopted it. Why? Everyone loved it. Maybe you thought some of the stardust would rub off on you? Maybe it did? It's all gone now. Only the grimace remains. Anything else? Like, who am I, and why did I drink myself into oblivion? You have some understanding of the near history of Disco. The rest is darkness, aside from the useless fact that the motor carriage outside was a copris canema. Oh, I guess that's it, then. Doesn't have to be. You can swoon over Gilarme and his champagne cork smile whenever you want to. Maybe some of the stardust will return. Alright, 3%. I'll let this mirror be for now. So obviously I have to do up my electric... Oh, no, we're gonna try it. Ow, that hurt. God damn it, MMO mouse. It's too late. Like an image on film, the expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It would take a minor neurological miracle for you to cease producing it. Alright. Fucking little smirk. You win for now. Are you going to let me out? Or in? Is that not how this works? No. Sort of like the whole dark and gritty vibe that this game is going for. But yet they're going to try and use Disco. I feel like I'm really going to enjoy this. Also, the uh, old mate over here has a bit of a Lemmy vibe going, but you know, a Lemmy that was never into rock and roll and got himself like a shitty banking job. What is this magnum-sized bottle of Commodore Red? It's empty. Ew. Why would you drink a wine name called Commodore? That's just dirty. Nasty. Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. That totally sounds like a me thing as well. Ooh, shoes. Ah, oh, it's just a one shoe. Can't even give me two. This reel to reel tape player is still on, rolling empty. Do I have, like, a kitchen or anything? I feel like it's sort of half an apartment otherwise. Hmm. Ooh. And I'm guessing I did this to the glass, too. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Visual calculus let us assess the damage. Shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Did I break it with my own hands? Proceeds look down at hands. A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. What did this then? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Let us assess the size of the impact. It's too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for anything heavy and larger than your fist. The green shoe you found fits the hole almost as well as your foot. It w would have also been heavy enough if thrown with force. Congratulations, you smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. I don't need it. I mean, that shoe, I don't need anyone. The window agrees. Its cracked smile is cold and sparkly. The win broken window will be my friend. I don't need any other human interaction, just that window. I believe that's everything I can do in here at the moment, except for that white door up thing up here that I can't seem to activate. Oh, I can now, though. Or is it just going to go up there and do nothing again? Yep, whole lot of nothing. God, I love when that happens, said no one ever. Th thought Cabinet. We just unlocked this, I, I believe. 
Whatever happened to Gilwami Lemillion, who, with his amber mane and sparkling teeth, beguiled the tattered remains of the nation? While you suffered and suffered, did he materialize in a cloud of cocaine dust? Hmm, alright. Or did he simply stand in the corner and melt into the slendering new lines of some starlight boy Denu twenty years ago? Spare a thought for his great ass, too. Or wait, maybe he became a police officer in Revishol West? Hmm. Yeah, okay, all these are locked either, see. And, what, and I can internalize? Hmm. Alright, let's. Try, what is it? What does this do? Alright, now. Lemillion, he'll be on my thoughts always. Every day. Every night. So I have low physical, so I can't physically intimidate anybody. Which is gonna suck. I'm gonna have to like mind fuck everything. And I don't have the biggest physique, so yeah, 100% head fucks. But I got a good motorex. That's a word. Motorex. I've lost a little bit of logic. I thought I was a gain. <laughs> you know what? Oh, screw it. Stop. Get. I only got two health. I, I, don't, I don't feel like that's a good number. And only one morale. Well, what's five int? My capacity to reason. Alright, so I'm guessing this is, that's like my skill perks and points and all that. I'm guessing it would be here. And that is moi. Okay, at least I can move myself around with my... Oh. No, I was going to say, do I have shoes up? But I think that's a shoe and a sock. Alright, time to leave the uh, confines of my home. Iguanas, negative 4 centigrade, bad road conditions. Hey there, who's who's this sweetie? Hey, well that's right. Clash J, Miss Orange Disco Dancer. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Perception. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. Wait, officer? Am I military personnel? Uh, no. She seems perplexed by your question. Wait, I know. I'm a businessman. Chief Executive Officer. Am I right? The young woman shakes her head slowly. Officer could be an artistic statement. You're already prone to those. Conceptualization. <laughs> Thanks, conceptualization. Officer's my stage name, right? I can see myself dancing as a middling disco artist called The Officer. Uh, police officer sir? Looking you in the eye. Oh, you're shitting me. I'm not. Unless you've been shitting us all this time. <laughs> she takes another drag. All this time. You've been here for three days. On official police business, no less. Oh yeah, and what business is that? I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Well, alcoholic detective, I like this. You have no doubt about the drinking. But do you strike yourself as a tight-lipped drunk? She must have heard something. Hmm. Wow. 8%. So, I can't... Even using stuff like the expression. I thought that'd be more a mental thing, but I guess it is technically a physical thing, isn't it? Anyway, who in their right mind would let me be an officer of the law? Don't be so harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. I might not know where I am, or who I am, or what a copris canema is, but I know what one sounds like. She nods. But I do know when someone's not telling me the whole story. What am I doing here? What's my case? She takes a long drag before speaking. There's a mercenary out back. He's been hanged. The body's been there for a week now. The locals probably got tired of it and called the cops. And why did you just tell me that? 
didn't mean to overwhelm you with information. You seemed a bit... lost, officer. I'm gonna try the look on a scrut. Heh, <laughs> the words have already left your mouth. I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> ah. She erupts in laughter, all the fatigue swept from her eyes. What was that? That's not even how words are used. What did you say? Come on, say it again. I said I wanted to have sex with you. No, you see, that's not what you said. He said, but she's unable to finish, consumed with laughter. Come on, man, pretty please, one more time. <laughs> oh, you know what, I'm going to give her what she wants. I said, I want to have fuck with you. God damn right you did, you crazy asshole, you. She wipes the tears from her eyes. What kind of cop are you? Uh, superstar cop, it's already been established with the mirror. Okay, that's cool, or... If I can just ask you to elaborate on that superstar to a tiny bit, it means I'm a bloated old dr Oh, no, no, screw it. I'm a scion of Giloame Lemillion. Or maybe you are Giloame Lemillion? You'd be about your age now. Think about it. One thing, though, she extinguishes her cigarette. Wait, what? Just proceeds to strut off back to her room. No, Alright. Alright, quickly, let's go lick her cigarette butts. She looks like it left a nice long stub in the ashtray. It's still smoking. Can I at least take a cigarette for the road? No? Okay, that's shit. The calendar says it's March. The year is... 51. You know what? I feel like I'm going to have to go back to this door. I need answers. No, 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 no. The door is closed. I'm going to just... I don't knock. I'm going to try the handle. The door can only be opened with a key or from the inside. Lame. There is no answer. You hear the shower being turned on somewhere inside. You know what? Get out of the goddamn shower. Still no answer. And I'm gonna knock again, being a lot harder. <sighs> okay. He's either intentionally ignoring me or is just conveniently having a shower at an opportune time. Little creeper. And with a name like that, I'm assuming that she is Swedish. Or some kind of European. This is the weekend edition of the satirical newspaper, Trompe Le Monde. Look at me sounding all fancy and shizzing it. Oh, I obviously got a little... Ah, it's that radio talking about the weather. Hmm. There's something on the table. No way! It's almost like I clicked on it for a reason. Ooh, money. Alright, I think that's everything up here. I thought I should be able to just, like, walk outside and get on the balcony, but I feel like they're going to make me go around the long way like a real sucker. Down the stairs, like, go. Ah, oh, double click to run. Interesting. Is it bad that the, I saw a person in a wheelchair with glasses and I automatically assumed it was Barbara Gordon from, like, the Batgirl comic? Am I too much of a nerd? No, it's them that are wrong. Hmm. I see lots of possibility here. But, we're going to wrap this episode up. So, nice little intro app.
I'm definitely intrigued by the style of the writing, the fact that I can talk to my senses like they're my bros. I feel like I'm going to go batshit insane by the end of this playthrough. Like, me and the character. Which is good, I'm looking for a good bit of a head fuck. So, if you like what you've seen here, or anything else from my solo stuff, or any of the group content, like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, some, any, all of the above. It's all appreciated from us. And until my next ep of Disco Elysium, I am Arky Sam. You're in Dude Go Back. Thanks for watching. Peace.